I'm interested in the origin of human male reproductive disorders. So everything that ranges from disorders that you see at birth through to disorders in adulthood, such as low sperm counts and testicular germ cell cancer. And um, what we've come to realize over the years is that probably all of these, or these disorders may have a common origin in fetal life. And therefore our goal is to try and understand what happens in pregnancy that can affect the fetus that might predispose towards these disorders. Um, and that could be quite challenging to do because if you have a disorder that occurs as a young man and the origins are 20, 30 years earlier, then it's quite difficult to actually connect those two events. So one of the approaches that we've started to do now is to, is to take fetal tissue from human abortuses and to graft small pieces of that into mice where it grows quite normally and to then use the mice as a way of, as a vehicle for actually treating and exposing the human tissue to understand what can make it go wrong. And it isn't just an idea that we sort of pull out of the air, it's because there's good evidence that the disorders that we're interested in are influenced by lifestyle and environment. But what we don't know is what are the factors in the lifestyle and environment that actually cause it. And there's only so much you can actually do by studying directly the humans themselves. So I say if it's the disorder occurs well, as a young man and you've got to then find out what went wrong in the pregnancy 20 years earlier it's almost impossible to actually do that in any meaningful way. Okay, and we heard today about drawing the line and where people decide that that red line should be. In terms of yourself, is there anything that you would consider to be unsafe or unethical? Where would you draw that red line? I, I think it's a very general question. I can't sort of off the top of my head think that I would come up with an answer and say that's unethical or that is. I mean, I think every case has to be considered carefully on its own. I'm certainly not uh, an advocate that we should just go ahead and do any old experiment just for because it's interesting to do. I think you have to think it through very, very carefully. But I think it's actually quite difficult to step outside acceptable boundaries in the first place because we're so heavily regulated. Uh, if we want to do studies, for the sorts of studies I was talking about, you not only need ethical permission to d for the use of the animals for the purpose you want, you've got to have ethical permission to use the tissue from the humans for that purpose, and then you've got to have the consent of the patient who is having the abortion and donating the tissue from the fetus. So those, those are three things, you've got to tick all those boxes before you can even do the experiment.